to the off. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. Caught on camera, a group going to unbearable lengths. She's holding the bear. The other guy's grabbing the other yep. one. Seemingly for photos with frightened cubs. That's 100% what she's doing. She's taking pictures of uh -huh. it. Yeah. But tonight, officials say no criminal charges against these Asheville residents who pulled two baby black bears from trees near their apartment complex Tuesday as furious neighbors recorded it all. Did she just drop it? Oh my gosh, it's running the poor yeah. little thing. Yeah, the poor thing. Put it back. You actually confronted these people. Yes. Ashley Hobbs from North Carolina's Bear Wise program says she was dispatched by the local sheriff. What were these people thinking? So what they told me um, was that they were trying to help the cub. Now in the video that we saw, that's not apparent to me. Yeah, I just described the dangers, how irresponsible it was. Hobbs says her team took one cub, a female, to a rehab center. The other cub and the bear's mother were nowhere to be found. Hobbs says because the interaction was brief and the group released both cubs, no charges apply. Is there any sentiment of like, unfortunately, we can't charge these people based on statutes? Definitely. We would have loved to, again, make this a teaching moment and really taking it seriously. It's just the latest example of people getting recklessly close to nature. <laughs> like this woman nearly charged by a bison while posing for a photo at Yellowstone National Park last year. He's gonna fall. And tonight, the search continues for vandals who last week destroyed ancient rock formations at Nevada's Lake Mead National Recreation Area. Authorities say they could face felony charges. Back in North Carolina, Hobbs says the cub is unharmed. No. That's insane. Officials plan to release her back into the wild, hoping humans keep their distance. Poor thing. Put it back. Maggie Vespa, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.